Hey y'all, I am the Creative Lady and this is Napulicious TV. I am about to get back in the bed because I have been asleep. It is officially 2.25 a.m. Since coming off vacation, my sleep pattern has been totally off. I'll come in from work and go straight to sleep and then I wake up over in the night and it's, I'm up for the rest of the night. But hopefully I can go back to sleep. Um fell asleep in my makeup and everything uh, so but I'm gonna show you how I have been refreshing my hair I have not shampooed my hair this year I think I did a wash I don't know what day it was but uh, it was like December 29th or 30th and I might have put a little heat on it to stretch it out a little I can't remember but anyway I've only just been refreshing my hair so I know that I need to, you know, do a deep condition and all that. But for now, why does dirty hair always look so good? Um, I've been getting compliments on my hair all week. Just two products I've been using that I shared in my uh, makeup and beauty and hair of the week video. And I will link that video here. But I've been refreshing with the Alakay Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. And you can get this on her website from Target. I think Sally Beauty might carry it. But it is a very interesting product. It's a yellow liquid. Okay. You can see the golden yellow lemony liquid. But when you spray it out, it comes out like that. It becomes like a, a cream. I don't know. Some kind of magic hoo-ha concoction i love it uh and it smells lemony and i've got a big big super sized container that i got from target online so i love 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 this and i was also i guess it's kind of like a semi lock version leave-in oil cream but i haven't put the oil in anyway but the topper product that i've been putting on has been the Love Naturals Shea I'm Beautiful Hair and Body Butter. Very light handed. And it is again a creamy shea butter type consistency. Now, for experimental purposes, I am going to bring in this product that I also love. And this is the Kinky Curly um uh, seriously smooth and protect and it's just like the consistency of the um love natural it's a shea butter type consistency but i just love the scent of this so on this side i'm going to put the love naturals when i twist my hair up and on this side i am going to put the uh, kinky curly on this side and you see this side that must be the side i have slept on okay so what i've been doing for the past night monday night i think tuesday night tuesday night tuesday night i put two twists here and then i pulled it up into like a little little ponytail in the back and i think that's what i am going to do again but I think I can't find my little puff so I might have to my little twist so I might have to just twist it up but anyway um got my little clips here and what I how I do mine you know it's natural hair you can do it how you want to but I'll take my hair and I'll try to just section it a little bit now I probably should give it a little mist over the top now I could do this with water just to you know make it pliable or you know ready to handle so you don't just snap off your your dry hair so okay so now i am going to just clip this here okay. let that side hang because i'm going to do this side first and then i'm going to clip up the back and get it out of the way because I'm not doing too much to this hair so 
I am going to now shake the pot up to make sure that it's all mixed up. And if I can find what the ingredients ingredients are in this, I will link them in the description box. Now let's make sure that I get my ends, okay? And with that, I do like a light finger detangling with my hair in case there are any shed hairs. Because again, I have not um, detangled my hair in days, okay? So as I do this technique, I'm trying to loosen up any potential shed hairs. And I'll just roll them in my palm like this, if you can see it. And just put it on a... Um, paper towel, tissue, or whatever. And I'm going to do a thorough, but just to make sure that it's not any obvious, you know, shed hairs just hanging around. So that's how I do it all over. So I'll give it one more little misting. And I have been getting compliments all week. What are you doing differently to your hair? So that's why I do the documentation videos. So that I can know what I am putting on my hair. And I want to do better with sharing those videos. And if it helps you guys, that's great. See, it's already come down. So I'll take just a little bit of this um, Kinky Curly. And I'll put it in the palm of my hand and then I'll take it and warm it up and it becomes, you know, like a, a melted shea butter type. And I'll just make sure that I smooth that through. If I come across any type of tangles, I'll just kind of, you know, use that little method to gently break them apart. Okay. And I just twist my hair okay and here we go and I'll do like a method that I used to see my grandmother do and she would braid her hair to keep it tight as you get to you know it's like here and then you feel like it might be loose you pull it up okay and just all the way so I hope y'all's 2019 is going good. If I could just stay up in the evening so I can get some work done for myself, that would be great. So hopefully this weekend, if y'all pulled the last of the little bitty uh, shed hairs out. But hopefully this weekend I can get caught up on my sleep. Okay. So that's this side, and you can take a little bit more of the cream or the, you know, shea butter consistency and just protect those ends, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do this side. And I got these little clips. I think I told y'all at Marshall's, there were four in a pack. This is my favorite Alake Naturals product. I've tried, oh, the oil is good. I think it's like a 14, 18, a whole bunch of oils in this little container. I like it too, but I have not re upped on that. Some kind of, you know, you know the oil, the Essential 17, you know, whatever she calls it, but it's really nice too. It's got all the good oils in it, and I love the little spout that she has on it that lets you just get. In there and just add it without you know wasting a lot of your oils but I haven't tried anything else from her line just those two items but those I like so I am a former or in rehab product junkie but I have slowed down considerably with my shopping for hair products I am going to 
use up what I have and y'all are not going to persuade me to try anything new. I'm going to do my best y'all. I have gone down here product aisles and the you know the ethnic hair care sections just looking just to see what's out there but I have not bought anything since I re-upped on the uh, Love Naturals leave-in conditioner. I bought that at the end of last year. I bought two of them. So, your girl is trying to do better. Um, so, not to say that I won't slip up, but honey, I got enough and I should have hair down to my ankles with all the products I got in here, as my mama says. But I am going to slow my roll and I'll just only buy what I need. If I need some shampoo or conditioner, which that won't be happening anytime soon. So. <clears throat> if I buy anything, it might be a new overhead um, hooded dryer. Because, you know, I am the wash and go queen. But I think my beloved dryer is on its last leg. But I'm going to work it out until it, you know, gives all the way out. So. I like to keep these separate because somehow the ends always seem to want to just love up on each other. So I have to make sure that I don't tangle them up. Because when I do the crossover method, something happens. But And I've been natural since, um... July or the June? June 2007. I was trying to wait until 7-7-2007 to cut my hair. But as soon as school got out, honey, honey, I chopped that hair off so fast. I could not wait. I was in the bathroom on a Saturday. And I was itching to cut that hair off. And I love it. Then I think I told y'all, but in case you're new here, I went home for a family reunion. I had the little typical broccoli thing going on. And I wanted my little cousin to shape it up. Well, you know, natural hair on women was not, you know, all the rage in Mississippi at the time. So all he knew was cutting men's hair. That job turkey cut off all of my hair. It was cute. But I had done all of that transitioning and protective styling just for that joker to cut all my darn hair off y'all i had you know like the little broccoli thing going and he just cut it all the way off i'm like dang <laughs> i could have went natural uh two months in okay but i love it i love the versatility of natural hair if you want to put a wig on girl boy put your wig on don't let nobody tell you how to do your hair it is tiresome dealing with natural hair sometimes. It's a lot. And if you got a good wig, you can a wig you can put on or some clip ins if you want. Now them clip ins. Wait a minute, y'all. Now I, I feel so deceived sometimes. Let me be honest. When I see people when I first went natural two thousand seven, I would see other naturals and you know, you're like, Hey, love that hair. Love your hair. Nowadays, with all of the clip ins and wigs and whatnot, you don't know who's really natural and who's not. I mean, you know, the prerogative. But I don't even say anything because, you know, it could be somebody with the faux locks or the faux this or the clip ends or whatever. So, ah, the magic is gone with that part. But, hey, do your hair how you want to do it. But, anywho, I'm going to take a little bit more of this. Oh, shoot. Did I do it wrong? I think I did it wrong, y'all. I don't even think I put. I think I put this on this side because I was talking. So, I guess I'm going to have to put it on the back side. So, on the back, so it has become now the Kinky Curly on the front and the Love Natural in the back. Talking, okay, talking, talking. Ooh, that's a little too much, but here we go. And her product, uh, Shea Anal, I'm Beautiful, kind of has like a lemony, I think, scent to it. And I really did not want to twist this up. Let me see if I have y'all. I got plastic caps in here. I've got everything in here except what I need 
so this is not my typical hair station but anywho if you follow me on instagram you can see my uh hair of the week y'all hold on i think i see my clip i'm so sorry this is a live-ish kind of video but uh okay this is not what i want either oh here we go yes y'all all right so i don't have to twist up my hair um <clears throat> found these what i've been trying to do is keep this back side stretched so that it doesn't have that wonky thing in the morning so i'm gonna give it a little bit more spray in the back and then i'm going to put it like in a little ponytail but like a high pony and just curl it over like that okay and then i take my grace alaye flat cap and this is the purple one and i will apply it to my hair i will take these and kind of tuck it to the back and tuck it under my ears make sure the back is covered and i am done with my hair and then i'll just take the uh, hair that has shed or broken or whatever it is and then i will um destroy that do you burn your hair or do you flush it you know i'm old school old folks i'm like oh the bird get your hair you're gonna go crazy lord a bird must have picked my hair off but <laughs> anyway y'all that's it for my midweek refresher which i do every night so stay tuned to instagram at nappylicious and um see what tomorrow's hair looks like because i will or later today's hair looks like i will post a a photo of what it turns out to be let me go uh, do my skincare routine i need to steam my um face because you know i'm working on this thing and it's getting better but not fast enough for me i've got on my kat von d foundation and kat von d is the bomb so once i get through using up all of the hoard of foundation and makeup that I have, I'm going to find my staple beauty products and I can just get rid of this hoard. Let me use it up, you know. But anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.